One word comes to mind when we think about Glenn, superstar. She excelled at everything she touched, often with a dose of laughter and mischief thrown in for good measure. The thing about Glenn is whatever she did, she was all in. She worked hard, she played hard, she pulled pranks hard. She was a serious student, but she also, she loved to pull a good prank as well. I think that's part of what made her popular. She was smart, athletic, fun, mischievous, and a good friend all rolled into one. <laughs> I don't ever remember her saying no to any type of challenge, whether it be you know academic or athletic. She was a great athlete um, socially. She was just always she was just up for anything at all times. I don't recall exactly when I first met Glenn or when we first spoke. But I do recall sitting in the back of math class and looking over and seeing Glenn and her book that had Glenn is love written on the side of it. And I remember that really struck me. I thought, well, first of all, can you do that? At this point, most of us were simply putting our names on our books. But I realized later that this was a message that Glenn was putting out to all of us, that this was her intention in life. And at that young age, Glenn was already starting to make her mark. I think GPS was a great place for Glenn. I mean, it gave us those opportunities for leadership and for developing our interests and, and having a lot of opportunities to do a lot of different things. And I think she thrived in that environment. She was a great student. She was a great athlete. She was, you know, president of the student council. Always willing to try something new. She was most happy at GPS, um, surrounded by her friends, um, surrounded by her fellow athletes, um, surrounded by people. She was just a people person and um, she carried that out in her legacy as an attorney and helping people with the um, legislation that she worked on. Glenn would make anyone kind of come out of their shell, so to speak. Glenn had a remarkable ability to not get in trouble, but be on the edge of trouble. <laughs> Always in a good, clean, fun way. Glenn was really funny. She loved to laugh. She wasn't comedian funny, but just funny in all of her observations about life and people and her ability to laugh at herself and her pranks. She was a real prankster. It was just always fun. She was just a lot of fun to be around. There are many stories. <laughs> a favorite story I have, and I was not there, but it was told to me, um, by someone who was there. Uh, Glenn was a fantastic athlete, as everyone knows. There was also another athlete in our class named Christy Gerheiser. A good friend of Glenn's sister, upon turning 16, was appointed to be the driver for the track team, which practiced at Baylor. And Glenn and Christy were in the back of the station wagon, old-timey station wagon, and little did the driver know, but at some point at a stoplight, Glenn and Christy crawled out of the back of the station wagon, onto the top of the station wagon, and were soon headfirst on the windshield staring at the driver. She was on to an important track, meet, practice, whatever, but she was gonna have a little fun along the way. She was more fearless than, than me. When we were juniors, the maintenance people were changing the, the light bulbs in the library. And so they had this really tall, like 16 foot um, high stepladder, you know, set up in the middle of the library. And I guess, you know, maybe they had gone to lunch. And um, so the, the ladder was just sitting in the middle of the library floor. And, and Glenn saw that ladder and decided that, you know, we needed to, to climb it. I said, well, well, you know, we'll get in trouble. We can't, 
do that. And so we decided we would disguise ourselves. And this being a last minute thing, we found paper bags to put on our heads. Well, Glenn, always being the leader, was the first up the up the ladder. She made it to the top, Erin was behind her, and I was, I was the straggler. And as soon as Glenn got to the top is when the librarian saw us in there. And she, um, of course, came out and yelled at us to get down. I scrambled down and ran out of the doors. I um, did not want to get caught and didn't. Um, but unfortunately, Glenn and Erin were not so lucky. They, they were nabbed um, and then received some type of punishment, I assume, a, a Friday detention after school. So they never um, ratted me out, though, I will say. Mrs. Odom, the librarian, did to try and get a confession, but they um, they never never revealed my identity. I did confess, I think, right before I graduated. Glenn enjoyed life to the fullest. And I think when you're enjoying life, you're having fun along the way. I think Glenn knew she wanted to be a breakout star. Um, how hard would it be to be one of two African-American students in a seventh grade class. That's admirable, number one. Number two, to take the school by storm um, from the day she came in the doors till the day she graduated. Um, I think she took life by storm, too. Glenn was the team captain of the track team. She was president of the student body in uh, 11th grade and president of the student council in 12th grade. She just was kind of a natural. Like when we were in, all in high school, I mean, she was special, but she was one of us. It's not like she stood out and you thought, this is the one, you know, she's going to go on and, you know, be this. You know, general counsel for General Electric. I mean, it just, that was not, she was very approachable. It wasn't, she was just a, one of the girls. You know, here's to the girls. When she graduated at GPS, she was accepted at Harvard, Princeton, Yale, and UVA. And she went to UVA as a Jefferson Scholar won many, many awards there. I think she was the first African-American president of the student body. And um, as a true tribute to Glenn, she was also a member of the Secret Seven, and that can only be divulged upon one's passing. And she did accomplish so much. Law school and her career in Washington, I mean, she really, it was remarkable that how much she achieved. Anything she she did, she she did beautifully. I remember her her chapel talk. She um, she sang the song "Fame," which was a popular song back at um, back in the day, and it was unusual because she wasn't a singer really. I mean, that was not something that she was known for. The chorus is is "Fame." I'm gonna make it to heaven, light up the sky like a flame. Fame. I'm gonna live forever, baby. Remember my name. And, you know, looking back on it now, it was, you know, really kind of prophetic. Glenn, of all people, ended up out of our small class probably being the most, you know, famous, most accomplished, certainly the, professionally the most accomplished of any of us. Um, yet she never, she was very humble about all her achievements. I would say what other women could learn from Glenn would be to take a risk, to not, don't play it safe. Even if it's scary, even if you aren't sure that you're going to be good at it, or it's outside of your comfort zone. I mean, that I think that was one of the things that was so remarkable about her, again, is that she, I mean, she really would try, try anything and wasn't afraid to fail. And, you know, I think that's a great lesson. I think a GPS senior today just really needs to go for the gold. Um, if Glenn had been an Olympian, she would have been a, had a gold medal around her neck. Um, push yourselves. Be the best you can be. Um, go to that school that is going to offer you everything and that you can in turn offer them. It's also the thing where you can look at her and go, well, you know, other people can do that. It's not, not just Glenn hard work and 
determination and all that can, you know, allow you to scale the heights of whatever it is that you want to do. Of course, Glenn is in all these. Glenn was in the student council. Um, Here's a photo of her, and then we took a funny photo. Here's Glenn and myself, and Voisin. And then, of course, Glenn's beautiful senior superlative with the senior scholarship and most versatile. Here's our spaghetti supper. Oh, well, we're not on camera. So there's Glenn and Aubrey. There's me. and. Buzz Kelly. Well, here's Glenn's senior write-up. Let's see, our senior will. What did Glenn will? Ah, I, Glenn Key, will my ability not to blush at embarrassing moments. <laughs> she was always, um, always there with the quip. I willed a confession to Mrs. Odom about our library raid. Oh, I love this too. I love her senior quote. Here's her quote. I came, I saw, I conquered. And you thought I was just kidding. And it was from Caesar. And so Glenn co-opted it and made it her own. Except it's true.